Hello there, welcome. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the Maker Pen settings and explaining exactly what they do and how to use them. Anyway, let's get into this. Starting off, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our watch. Press backpack and using the Maker Pen. Now grab our Maker Pen. Look at the top and press open palette. Here we are now rooted with a palette. Press the gear up in the top right corner, which is the settings tab. We are greeted with three pages. The play gizmos basically allows you to pause and continue playing gizmos for the entire room. The delete everything deletes everything within the whole room that's been built by a player, as well as props and other bits. And then reset gadgets resets all the state of the objects. Do not rotate while moving, basically allows it to suppress an object rotation when you're using the move tool as it says here. Enable self scaling allows you to go bigger and smaller, such as this, so I can make the things look smaller and very a lot bigger. Create gravel objects, preferably I'd say have it on object default, because when having it turned off, you won't be able to pick up any weapons, say, say weapons or other bits. Have it in the middle will allow us, so when we spawn, say spawn a weapon, it will be instantly grabbable. And if we have it turned as on, say if we did tubes for example, I can grab it, like that. Preferably though, for me, I have it set in the middle to object default. Position snap. Depending on the position snap, with 0.5 it's more or less freehand. With 1, as you can tell, it's a bit more sort of snappy. 5, that was a bit more snappy as you can tell, which is my usually my preferred favourite, 5 is. 10, which is a lot more snappy. And eventually 100, as you can tell, snaps around quite a lot. You can get nice straight tubes like using that sometimes. Rotation snap. What does this do? Well, rotation snap, depending on what you have it on. So if we have it on 90, we select our rotation tool. Let's select this. Doing that, we'll snap it to 90 degrees each time. Unless Seth, we had it on 5, it would be more sort of freehand. Uniform shapes now. What does this do? Well, say if we get a cube. Without uniform shapes turned on, it will be like this. We can sort of stretch it about. Now if we turn on uniform shapes, they become a perfect cube. The snap to center, snap object centers to position the snap grid. The align to edges snaps an edge to the object of the walls of it as a grid, as it says here. And the show grid shows the grid. So we go to tube size. Now if we got our tubes, let's get some tubes. Press the cog again. The tube size depends on the size of the tube. For example, that is one, this is two, four, eight, and eventually 25, which is very chunky. These vary as well as though fixed tube widths allows it. So say if I had it off, I can make it, I can sort of scale the size of things. So I maybe start off quite big and change the size, such like that. But say if I had fixed tube width on, I cannot do that and it will always stay that exact size of the tube size. Connect nearby tubes is very useful. Basically we can make it so it connects all up into one tube. So say if we have it turned off and then we want it to go up all of a sudden, you can tell it sort of clips here and looks very uneven. However, say if we had it on and we did the same, we connect it all up and make it smooth on the corner. Smooth tubes. Smooth tubes is a very nice one to use. Having unticked, you get a very more sort of sharp edged look, as you can tell here. So it's sort of more flat, sharp, and everything. If I have smooth tubes on, it gives it more of a sort of smooth effect to it. The tube height ratio basically allows us to change the height. So for example, this is this is 100. If we go to 75, 75, you can tell it's getting thinner. 50. It's even more thinner, and so forth, down to 20, get it even more thinner, eventually 10, which is basically paper thin. You can tell it's got gone from rather 
quite chunky to very thin. Now the tube facets. This is probably my favourite bit, but depending on each of the numbers, where it says 3, 4, 5, 6 and 10, depending on the numbers is the amount of faces the, the tube will have. For example, with 3, it will give us a triangle, which you can tell here. So if we do, did a 4, it will go up to a square. 5, we got to a 5 face shape. 6, to a 6 face shape. Eventually, 10, to a 10 face shape. The 10 is very useful, as well as the 4. I don't see many people use these two as often. Sometimes see people use the 3, but mainly the 4 and the 10. The show pivot when enabled basically shows us where the pivot is, so we can find the centre of a shape, which is very useful. Eventually, these are the last two. Show gadgets when not holding make pen, and selection bounds. Selection bounds I usually tend to have turned on, because well, it shows that of course. And then here, show gadgets when not holding make pen. So if I tick that and drop my make pen, as you can tell, you can still see the barriers. However, if I turn this off, you can no longer see the barriers. That's really it for today's video. If it came in useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!